today we are going to discuss about the uh, portion from module 3 uh, this foundation uh, foundation is the lowest artificially prepared part of the structure it is direct contact with the ground support and transmit the weight of structure along with live load, applicate load and stationary as well as moving loads carried by it to the underlying soil. That is, foundations are the structural components of the building which are direct contact with ground and which transmit load of superstructure to the ground. That is, the function of foundation is to transmit load of superstructure to the ground. We all already know that uh, build has mainly two components substructure and superstructure and uh, foundation is a part of substructure and which carry the load from the upper part that is uh, superstructure next is functions of foundation functions are the first one is even distribution of load that is foundation distribute total load from superstructure over a large area without causing failure of this area such that load intensity at the base does not exceed the bearing capacity of the soil. So, the main function is to evenly distribute the load coming from the superstructure. Second one is stability against sliding and uh, overturning. As we all know, foundation, uh, as we all know, building uh, carries so many loads such as uh, wind load, earthquake load, dead load, live load, earthquake load, etc. So, the foundation provides sufficient stability and safety against distributing forces like wind, rain, earthquake, etc. and safety against sliding and overtraining effect due to lateral load. Dead weight of foundation provides stability of the structure. And third function is to minimize differential settlement. Settlement of a foundation is a permanent downward displacement of foundation and the foundation provides safety against this type of settlement. And also uh, fourth function is safe against undermining. If any undermining is uh, carrying, carried out, then a foundation provides safety of uh, provide uh, strength to the structure. And fifth one uh, uh, provides firm and level surface and sixth one minimize distress against soil movement these are the uh, some these are some functions of foundation and uh, so we treat foundation as a uh, special type of engineering due to its importance and uh, steel engineering has a, uh, has uh, a separate branch branch dealing with the soil mechanics and foundation geotechnics this is called a geo mechanics the next in important term in foundation is bearing capacity. Bearing capacity means supporting power of the soil without failure. That is how much load that the uh, soil can carry out without uh, causing failure. It depends upon, mainly depends upon properties of soil, allowable and differential settlement, position of water table, physical features of foundation. Physical features means size, size shape and rigidity. Next thing is ultimate bearing capacity. Ultimate bearing capacity is the minimum gross pressure intensity at the base of foundation that the soil faces in shear. Or otherwise, ultimate bearing capacity may be defined as the least gross pressure which will cause real failure of the supporting soil immediately below the surface. Next is safe bearing capacity. Safe bearing capacity is the maximum pressure which the soil can carry safely without the risk of shear failure. It is equal to the next safe bearing equal to the net safe bearing capacity plus original overburden pressure. Next is type of foundation. Foundation may be broadly classified under two categories that is shallow foundation and deep foundation. As by its name it's clear that shallow foundation means the foundation is having depth less than or equal to its width and the foundation having depth greater than width. 
so we moving to shallow foundation um, shallow foundations are so many types that is shallow foundations may be classified as isolate footing or column footing wall or strip footing combined footing continuous footing cantilever footing inverted arch footing grillage footing raft or mat foundation so we moving to isolated or column footing isolated footing means we provide foundation under each column to try provided for columns to transfer the load safely to the soil sim isolated footings are of three types single or single footing stepped footing and sloped footing single single footing for light loads and stepped footing for medium and heavy loads we figure shows the uh, uh, the, the cross section and uh, perspective view of isolated footing first so a figure is single footing second step step the footing and third is top slope the footing um, second one is wall or strip footing as name it's clear that it is provided under a load bearing wall this sim- the two types single or step provided throughout the length of continuous structure it's a figure of wall or strip footing it's clear that is footing is provided under a load bearing wall next is combined footing combined footing is constructed for two or more columns it may be rectangular or trapezoidal and the shape of that is rectangle or trapezoidal is proportion such that center of the footing area coincide with the center of gravity of the load on the footing that is it is uh, the shape is proportioned on the basis of low uh, centroid of the column that the uh, footing support and uh, adopted for best of supporting columns for the time etc these are these are figure showing rectangular footing and uh, trapezoidal footing next is continuous footing continuous reinforced slab is provided as foundation for three or more columns in a row prevent different differential settlement and uh, this is a continuous footing provided for under three columns next is cantilever footing eccentric footing for exterior column and concentric footing for interior column strap or cantilever connects them in cantilever footing there is a cantilever or strap which connect to foundation this is the uh, first figure is the uh, core for foundation for exterior column and it is the foundation for interior column and it is connected with a strap or cantilever and next is inverted arch, arch footing inverted arch footing means it is in the shape of an inverted arch next is mat or raft or mat foundation raft or mat foundation is the uh, foundation which is provided for the structure in marshy land that is where the bearing capacity of soil is very less this provided throughout the uh, under throughout the structure next is grillage foundation grillage foundation is provided for machine foundation uh, uh, example in case of our lab there are so many machines which causing uh, vibration uh, vibration is very uh, danger to our structure so uh counteract the uh, effect of vibration we use grillage foundation in grillage foundation we use uh, steel embedded in concrete and second main classification is deep foundation and deep foundation uh, means the foundation having depth greater than speed uh, foundation the deep foundation may be mainly classified as pile foundation and well foundation first one pile foundation pile foundation is provided uh, for heavy structure and uh, provided where the bearing capacity of soil is very poor and also it's used to for slender structure slender means uh, height is high, very large height so pile uh, is slender structure remember made up of concrete steel timber or composite material or to transmit load uh, piles can be classified on the basis of its function and based on its material based on function piles may be classified as load bearing pile and load bearing pile uh, load be- uh, load bearing pile compaction pile etc uh, first one is load bearing pile and uh, based on load bearing pile may be classified as n bearing pile and friction pile n bearing pile means load is transmitted from 
transmitted through N to ground. And for friction pile, load is transmitted and load is balanced by the friction caused by the pile. The next type is compaction pile. This compaction pile is used to compact the soil or increase the capacity of a loose soil. So we insert so many piles to this uh, soil. Next is feed pile, anchor pile, batten pile and fender pile. These are the uh, piles which is used for used as a uh, supporting structure. And uh, the figure, uh, figure shows the different uh, uses along the different uh, piles. Next is concrete pile based on material. Uh, material next classification based on material based on material we classified as concrete pile concrete pile may be precast pile and cast in situ pile precast pile means we call the uh, pile casted before uh, casted in a uh, factory that is reinforced concrete pile molded in molded in circular square rectangular or octagonal form cast and covered in casting yard and then transported to the site of driving. If space is available, it can cast and covered near the to the work site. Driven with the help of pile drivers, drivers, diameter normally varies from 35 cm to 65 cm. Length varies from 4.5 to 3 m. Uh, this is the Recast pile install, installation figure and next is uh, cast in situ pile. Cast in situ pile means casting position inside the ground. It is casted where the act uh, casted in the actual position. First of all, all the bore is done by the driving a casing casing pipe into the ground. We firstly uh, insert a casing into the ground and then uh, we remove the soil from the casing by using uh, any arrangement and then place a necessary reinforcement and then it is filled by the concrete and so the work is progressing. Then material is timber pile. Um, those for material at the classification is timber pile. Uh, transmission, of, transmission of load takes place by the friction resistance of ground and then and the pile surface. Economical to support light structure, pile made from timber or tree like stall, teak, deodor, rubble, tire, etc. May be circular or square in cross section. Piles are driven with the help of pile driving machine which drop hammers, bellows, close on the pile head. Next is composite pile, as the may by the name is clear that it's the pile have pile with a diff two different materials type of composite pile is used with the object of achieving economy in cost of piling work. This is a figure of uh, composite pile. Then a, a different name is sand pile. Sand pile are constructed by drilling holes into the ground by filling it by sand. Advantages, these are simple to construct and economical. Position of water table does not affect this pile. Next is, next is well foundation. Well foundation is a type of deep foundation which is generally provided below the water level for the drift. It's also known as caseon. And the two types of caseons are there, box caseon and open caseon. Box caseon open at the top and closed at the bottom. Made with, it is made with a timber reinforced concrete or steel. This type of caseon is used when bearing stratum is available at shallow depth. Well foundation, open casing. Open casing is a box open at both and top and bottom. It is made up to either timber, concrete or steel. Open casing is called well. It's also called well. Uh, well foundation is most common for deep foundation using bridges in India. These are the shape of wells we use. Single circular, thin circular, dumbbell, double D, thin hexagonal, hexagonal, thin octagonal and rectangle. This is the cross section of the well foundation.